Good day, everybody, and welcome to another edition of the Military and Foreign Affairs Network. I am your host, the voice of reason. Well, today I wanted to provide uh, more information uh, about the uh, the video I did yesterday in regards to uh, mothers, parents, turning their babies, two-year-old, three-year-olds, into transvestites. I, I Look, I know this sounds crazy, and I know it is, for some of you listening, may not believe it that, it, that it's happening here in the United States, but I can tell you it it is happening, and it's happening on a very broad and large scale throughout the United States. And this is the far-left, radical ideology that we're now seeing in regards to the quote-unquote trans issue that is uh, happening here in the United States. So I'm just going to cut to the chase and give you one example. Uh, this is a, re a recorded episode of uh, NPR, National Public Radio. And just um, listen to what happens, and you be the judge in terms of what I tried to explain in my previous video and, and what you're listening to now. Here we go. It's here and now, and a story now, maybe not for young ears, although it centers around a preschooler named Mia who demanded to be heard. We want to tell this... A preschooler that demanded to be heard. A three-year-old demanded to be heard. See how that goes? We want to tell the story as it unfolded and as her mother, blogger Mimi LeMay, tells it in a recent... Blogger Mimi LeMay. Yeah. Uh-huh. Tells it in a recent essay she wrote because she wanted her child, now five, to read it one day and because she thought it might help other families now. And statistics show many families are going through the same thing. Statistically, many families are going through the same thing. This is created. It is a false narrative. It is being forced upon these children. Here we go. Amila May joins us in the studio. Welcome. Thank you, Robin. Let's go back just a few years to, to when your child was born. Your first words were, hello, princess, and you began buying everything pink. And matching to um, my child's older sister as well, because I, I love to have um, my two dainty little princesses dressed the same. Yeah. And then eventually you'd have a third, the three sisters that I'd always dreamed of having. Yeah. There was a, a minor hiccup with Mia. She was knocking into things. Yes, we called her the honey badger. She was fearless and uh, ferocious and knocked into everything. Well, you had her diagnosed. It was something called sensory perception disorder. Yes. It's a very, very minor thing, mm -hmm. but it plays a part when Mia was about two and a half and started to change her clothing 12 times a day. Yes, it became very uh, concerning for us. She would change into one outfit. We would do a short activity. She'd have a snack, and then suddenly it was, Mommy, I really need to change. And I would say, No, you don't. You're fine, Mia. And she would insist and become very, very agitated and throw a tantrum. Yeah. Well, you knew things, there was something really wrong when she woke up at 2 a.m. begging to change her outfit. She called the pediatrician. They assigned it to the sensory perception disorder. Mm -hmm. she, she had trouble feeling the clothes against her so everybody thought that's what it was yes uh, sometimes yeah. children with sensory perception disorder are sensory seeking because they don't feel sensations right. quite the same way we do right but then just before mia's third birthday what happened she came to me and my husband and said mommy i'm not a girl do you see how that works do you see how this is happening a three-year-old walks up to the mother and says, I'm not a girl. And now it's on like Donkey Kong. Here we go. Girl, I'm a boy. Yeah. I'm glad that you're moved by it because it was a very painful experience for me and I wanted to bring it out because I think a lot of parents are afraid to transition their children because they fear that they will be seen as bad parents. I. She is a bad parent. She is sick. She is psychotic. She is bat shit crazy and does not deserve to be a parent. She's talking about transitioning a three-year-old. A three-year-old 
because this three-year-old is changing clothes. And there's there's a lot more out there. Uh, I'm not going to play this whole thing, but uh, feel free to look for it, find it. It's there's just so much of this out here that's going on that it's becoming this fad, and it is going to lead to serious serious harm to these children. This is a pseudoscience. It is it is something out of the of the dark ages that is being created by crazy people. Insane people are being given a voice and given the latitude to do insane things, such as harm their children. And that's what they're doing. Our society is is in trouble, serious trouble. And I don't think it's it's uh, it's sunk in yet for a lot of folks. I don't think a lot of folks really understand what's happening, why it's happening, and uh, again, the uh, you should be concerned. So feel free uh, delve into this, listen to it. It's out there. It's real. It's not fake. But again, I just wanted to provide this as just some very limited, uh, just in the context of this episode, proof that what I talked about in the previous episode is true. Have a good day, folks.